So I am out on the edge of the woods looking for blackberries, raspberries. Uh, I think the variety I find out here the most often is actually just a wine berry. Um, however, I think last week was the week for them and I just plain forgot. So I don't know if I'm going to find any, but I'm going to look. <laughs> okay, so. Right there are some that haven't ripened yet and they don't look like they will. They look rather puny. I didn't end up with any berries, but this actually reminded me that I have to swap out my winter gear for my summer gear in my truck. Uh, this is usually something I do like the first warm day of the spring, but with gas prices being the way they are, I just hadn't got around to it. Um, haven't been anywhere really, but I need to do it. So. I'll need to go home and make a list of everything I want in the truck and then cross-reference that with what I actually have gear-wise, things that I think I might need to add to it. So I am working on my truck gear list for the summer. Uh, this is just a really quick list of things that I know for sure that I want, uh, but as I start pulling stuff out of my truck, I will figure out more of what I have and what I don't. I carry at least three coolers with me at any given time of various sizes, uh, extra water bottles, canteens, towels. I actually, uh, I need to purchase some more towels to keep in my truck. I have one and I used it a lot last year. I have a pneumatics towel and it's my favorite travel towel. Uh, but I, I need to get some more because it turned out that Sometimes I wasn't the only person on the trip and people forget towels. So extra towels are just good to have anyway. First aid supplies, I need to go through and check on all of my first aid stuff in the truck, make sure that I don't need to replace anything. Uh, flashlight, need to check on the batteries. A uh, boat hook. For those of you who don't carry a boat hook standard in your vehicle, it's just something really helpful uh, if you live close to water. Um, I use it to grab stuff out of the back of my truck actually, but sometimes you just need a boat hook. I keep a hammer in the truck, I use that a lot. It's aside from my toolbox, oddly enough, but yeah, keep a hammer in the truck. Matches, uh, road emergency kit, uh, my parents gave me that, it's just smart to have, I just want to make sure it's still in the truck after I take everything out, make sure I put it back in uh, my toolbox and anything for self-defense. So that's just getting down the list a little bit. I know I need to add um, like extra backpack, just tote bags, different things to, to the list and stuff I definitely know I want to have in here. So I actually have a bin that I keep everything in my truck, like any, anything that needs to be secured. I've, I put in this like fabric bin thing. Uh, but I'm wanting to swap that out for a plastic tote of some kind so I can actually put it in the bed of the truck and not have to keep it on the seat. Uh, I thought keeping it on the seat would be a really good idea because then I could access it easily. However, if someone get, you know, I have some, I have passengers and they need to sit on the seats, then I have a fabric tote that has to go in the back of the truck. And if I have coolers with water, it's not always a good mix. So I'm wanting to get a plastic tote keep everything in so I'm going to be looking into that as well. So I was actually thinking about the plastic totes and I think I actually need two. Um, I keep my camping gear separate from the stuff I keep in my truck all of the time because I don't I don't keep all of my camp gear. I don't keep my tent and my sleeping bag and my hammock. I don't keep all of that stuff in the truck all the time. I'll throw it in if I think I need it or if I'm going on a trip specifically. So I'm thinking two plastic totes.
Now I have to get all the stuff out of the interior. This is gonna take a while. So this was the fabric-like collapsible bin I was talking about. Um, yeah, it works really well and it is completely collapsible, which is really cool. I just feel like I might need something a little bit more weatherproof at this point, but I'll probably still keep it in the truck, maybe just fold it up. I use it when I'm on trips. I pack a lot of stuff in it, so it is useful. I got the junk out, and now it just needs to be vacuumed. The mats need to be scrubbed down, all that fun stuff. It's like you're not gonna like this part. truck is cleaner. I'm not going to detail it today. I have too much stuff to put away that was in here and I'm losing daylight. So I'm going to go put all of that junk away and I'm going to take inventory of what needs to go back in the truck. And yeah, that's about it. Come on, handsome sailor. Move on. <laughs> I gotta wash these. I'm so cute. Come on. Go find squeaks. 